Hey everyone, it's Jenna. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be going to Home Goods because over the last couple of months, I've spotted some really good designer dupes and I'm really excited to show them to you guys. It is honestly mind blowing how much money you can save from shopping here. Like I'm talking literally thousands of dollars. So I'm gonna give you guys some styling tips and decorating ideas along the way. And some of these dupes were even so good that I bought them for myself. So it's gonna be a really fun video. So without further ado, let's go shopping. Okay, so our first dupe is going to be this console table, which is absolutely gorgeous. We actually have the coffee table version in our living room and I love it, but this is a dupe for the Folsom console table at Pottery Barn, priced at $699, while the Home Goods one is only $350. And it also appears to be a bit longer than the Pottery Barn one as well. Next, I spotted these gorgeous armchairs. They look identical to the Denver armchair on Joss and Main for $800. And there is also a dupe at Crate and Barrel as well for $789. Given that these are a very expensive designer looking chair for only $400, I decided to bring them home with me and they are so comfortable and they will be making their debut in our upstairs loft makeover coming soon. I don't want to show you guys the whole room yet, but I already put them up there and they look so, so good and they are a perfect comfy lounge chair for our game room. Okay, so for these plates, I was recently inspired by Gwyneth Paltrow's new home tour for Architectural Digest. I will link the video below, but she had this gorgeous blue plate wall in her kitchen, and these have the same overall look to the one she had displayed in there. And these guys were only $6, and they look really similar to the ones being sold on One King's Lane for $25 a plate, which honestly adds up really quickly if you're buying a whole set. And these faux blue porcelain plates are a very high-end and classic look for a great price. Definitely something to keep an eye out for if your kitchen just needs a little pop of color. Next, I came across this little agate tray, which I thought was so unique and pretty looking. This is a dupe for the agate serving board at Crate and Barrel priced at $90. This one was on clearance for $48, and I like that you could use this to serve food for guests, but also as a catch-all or organizational tray in an entryway, bathroom, or living room. I also spotted this really cute bistro table and chair set. This looks almost identical to the Riviera dining chair at Serena and Lily, where one chair is $300 so here both chairs and the table were only $400 and this would be great to dress up a smaller space It'd be perfect for an apartment balcony or if you just have a smaller nook or cranny in your backyard that needs a sweet little seating moment Next up, we have these black nightstands with gold plated accents. And this style was big back in the day and is definitely coming back in style now. These guys are only $100, but look very similar to the Mary Jane dresser being sold on Wayfair for $419. Okay, so this next one was super exciting to find. This is almost an identical dupe for this ottoman at West Elm. It ranges anywhere from $549 to $849, depending on your custom fabric choice. But I think this one is such a fun design and very kid-friendly with all of that extra storage underneath. So I've talked about these fun fringe stools before, but these are very trendy right now and they're being sold on McGee & Co for $450 while you can get this really pretty gray one here for only $60. And these would look so pretty paired in a living room to provide extra seating in an area where you have a large traffic flow spot. Next up, for a more beachy look, we have this rattan coffee table for only $180. I love how this woven rattan would really bring a lot of warmth to a space, and this has very similar lines to the one being sold on Pebble and Crane for $600. And it'd be perfect if you're going for a more coastal vibe in a smaller space such as an apartment or beach condo. And when I saw these guys, I was so shocked by the amazing price on them. While I was filming them, another couple actually came and sat in them to claim them, but I can definitely see why. They basically looked like they were plucked straight out of a Pottery Barn magazine, and they're such an awesome price. And next we have this shelved console table, which I really love the concept of. It is actually out of stock on Joss and Main, but it normally goes for $1,000, while this one is only $250. And I really like that not only do you have a top surface to decorate, but you have a bunch of shelves you can style as well, which really takes the concept of a styled console table up another notch, and I love that. 
So next I spotted this chunky console table which has very similar lines to the Margate console table at Anthropology, which is priced at $1,098 and this guy is only half of that at $500 and these big chunky pieces tend to be really expensive and look very designer because with all of the curves it's a very custom look and it's not something that's easy to mass produce or replicate with veneers and cheap materials. I also spotted this really pretty cane media console for $500 which looks very similar to the Soren media cabinet at McGee & Co for $2,250. So I have shown these before in a previous home goods video, but I keep seeing them in the stores and they're just too good not to share. I think that these leather pillows always look so good contrasted against lighter, linen-y pillows, and leather is just such a classic look and really helps elevate the look of your space. And these are a great way to incorporate it into your living room decor without paying for leather upholstered furniture. Next, I found this really pretty rustic looking gold tray, which has has a lot of similarities to this one being sold at Pottery Barn for $100. This one is only $40 and would be great for holding a fruit bowl, maybe some cleaning spray and a candle in your kitchen. Just something to aesthetically group some items together and I love the rustic charm that it has to it. So again, for a more coastal vibe, we have these seagrass bar stools for only $149, which is such a steal compared to the $798 price tag of these almost identical ones being sold at Serena and Lily. And I love the the woven back bar stools because they always add a subtle natural statement to a kitchen island or a bar. Home Goods is also a great place to buy large area rugs and I spotted this gorgeous blue gray one for only $300 which very closely resembles this one from Pottery Barn priced at $849 in a similar size. Next I spotted this woven mirror. It looks really similar to the one being sold at Pottery Barn for $449 and this would make a really pretty statement in a bathroom, hung in an entryway, or just popped over a console table. I love the woven detail and the texture it adds. So speaking of woven textures, I love the cute character this little desk lamp has. It's only $50 and it has very similar lines to the Liz Rattan desk lamp being sold at Anthropology for $248. I think this would be so pretty to add some warmth and personality to a desk or side table. Next up, we have this side table that really closely resembles the Stowe side table from West Elm priced at $179 while this home goods one is only $40. And this one was such a good find in my opinion. This was almost an identical dupe of this sideboard on Wayfair priced at $2,150. And the one at Home Goods was only $600 and had all the exact same lines and detailing. This would be so pretty in an entryway or a dining area for some added storage. Next up, we have this gorgeous two-door woven cabinet and it looks very similar to this one on Me Monkey priced at almost $3,000. And I love how much warmth and uniqueness this added woven detail brings it would just look really pretty in a hallway or maybe even paired with another for a set of nightstands. Home Goods is also a great place to check out for leather furniture. This sofa would look really elegant in maybe a bar room, a sitting room, a man cave, or like a game room. It just looks nearly identical to this one from Pottery Barn priced anywhere from three to four thousand dollars and the leather seems to be of really beautiful age and quality and this is just such an elegant and unique piece. So it's no secret that these antique replica benches are really in right now. So when I found this one for only $80, I was shocked. It really closely resembles the one being sold at Burke Decor for $912. And I love the fabric on top and it would look great at the foot of a bed or in a hallway. So still a bench, but on a much larger scale, we have this long faux leather bench. And this really makes a statement and would look pretty in a super long hallway or maybe even on one side of a dining table just to add some visual interest. Next up, we have these gorgeous cane dining chairs and I really like them because they combine three materials which makes them very visually interesting and appealing. We have wood, upholstery, and a cane detail which all keep these chairs feeling very organic and down to earth. So as you guys can see, cane detailing is very in right now. Lots of designers are incorporating it into their spaces and we have this gorgeous cane media console for only 300 bucks while the high-end dupe is priced at $729. So I personally love really rustic looking aged wood and I feel like that's a very casual, cozy, lived-in look. And this bench totally fits that vibe. It's priced at only $100 with similar lines and details that closely resemble the wind bench on Kathy Kua Home for $749. So another Kathy Kuo home dupe, and this is a media cabinet priced at $2,365, while the home goods one is only $600. I personally love the hardware on this one so much more, along with the gorgeous faux distressing of the wood on here. This is one of those really unique 
unique finds for such a steal of a price. Now, this next one was such a great deal that I could not pass it up. We purchased these for our master bath makeover. They are a perfect large size for a bathroom mirror with a little bit of personality with those curved edges. And hopefully we'll be getting to that project soon, but I loved the gorgeous lines of this one. The home goods one was only a hundred bucks and it looks exactly like this one from Crate and Barrel priced at $300. And lastly, we have this unique twisted wood side table for only a hundred dollars. And it looks exactly like this one being sold on Joss and Main for $224. Such a structurally interesting piece that would add a real punch of personality and uniqueness to a space. All right, you guys, so that about wraps up this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And I know this was kind of a new format for me. So definitely let me know in the comments if you liked it or if you prefer the more casual home goods, you know, shop with me and haul that I normally do. If you're new to this channel and you like the dupe videos, do not worry, there's a ton more where this came from. Definitely check out that playlist that I have. So yeah, I wanna thank you guys again so, so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.